If you're using Go High Level to send emails to your leads, then you have to listen up. A couple of weeks ago, something horrible happened in my CRM. A lot of our emails started to go to people's junk folder. Now, mostly they were using Microsoft, which is harder to get into, but either way, I had a huge problem that I needed to fix. So after all, I teach email. So I set out to find the answer. How do I fix my GHL spam issue? And one of my friends, Tony Baltanato, agreed to sit down with me and he walked me through the solution. So today I wanted to to walk you through the solution. So if you're using GHL to send emails, you need to do this. You need to activate this in your account. This is something that I didn't know was possible. And now that I know it, I can't help but teach you as soon as I possibly can. So watch the solution. You're going to be mind blown once you realize what it is. I'm going to share my screen. Now I implemented this solution as soon as I could with Lead Gen J, but I also run Otter PR, my big PR agency, and we get thousands of leads every single day. So I needed to protect the email deliverability inside the CRM. So here is what the solution is. Now what you already know, they use Lead Connector as their main email sending system. You can connect other services, you can connect Gmail, but in general, most people are using Lead Connector and it's essentially Mailgun. You should be. It gives you access to all of their other features. Now you also probably know that you need to add a dedicated domain. This is so that you're not sending from their domain, which is gonna cause you to go to spam. What I'm gonna teach you today is much different than that. It's taking this a step further and really everybody who's sending emails from GHL should be doing this. So let's come into dedicated domain and IP. These are all of the subdomains that I'm using inside of GHL. GHL to send emails. Now you need to keep these subdomains clean. I recommend adding them to Google Postmaster. Now here's the magic. We're going to come down into dedicated IPs. Now by default, Go High Level gives you a shared IP address and that is the source of the problem. These shared IP addresses are not good and they're going to cause spam issues if something happens to that IP address because they're not protecting it and they're not going to switch it out for you. So out of nowhere, your emails can start landing in spam. But if you buy a dedicated IP, now you can warm up this IP address and domain using traditional warming methods. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So first you're going to buy that dedicated IP. It's not super cheap, so you should be sending some actual emails before doing this. It's $85 per month to use their dedicated IP. And they also say that they do some warm up for you, but I don't trust them to do all the warm up for me. I want to control that myself. So first you're going to buy that dedicated IP address, and then you're going to make these changes to your SPF record. So here's how to make those changes to your SPF record. Right now I'm inside of my lead gen J Cloudflare, wherever your domain is hosted and you control your DNS record, that's where you'll go. This will be quick. I promise search for your SPF record and you'll see the subdomains for the SPF record, because you've already had to do that in order to send from that subdomain. So you're going to find the SPF record if this was mail, and I want to use the dedicated IP address at mail.leadgenj.com. You're just going to come in and edit this SPF record using what they tell you here. Just replace your current one with this, and you're good to go. And then it's going to go from total domain zero to however many you adjust that SPF record. Now, here's the actual magic. I didn't just want to tell you to buy a dedicated IP and that solves the problem because it doesn't. If you buy the dedicated IP without doing the next thing, then you're probably going to end up worse than where you started because you need to keep that IP address warm and you can't rely on anyone else to keep it warm for you. Now, here's how to warm up the subdomain and IP address yourself in GHL. You're going to click these three dots next to the subdomain and you're going to come into SMTP settings. Here, you're going to be able to create a new SMTP user. You're going to give it uh, a name. I like to use the name that I'm typically sending from. So if it's my Otter PR one, I'm going to use hello. And then you're going to set an SMTP password. Now I'm going to give you a little warning here. They probably have your sub account restricted from creating SMTP users. I've done this twice now, and both times I've had to go to support and ask them to unblock my account to allow me to create SMTP users. It takes two minutes, and then they say, you're good, create one. Then you go ahead and create that SMTP user, and here it is. You'll get the login and then whatever password that you set. Now you're going to come into Warmy. Now, if you're not already familiar with warmy.io, they're my favorite warm up platform for your primary domains. They're not the cheapest. So, heads up, they are not the cheapest, but you can get a nice discount. So, Warmy has agreed to give my subscribers 50% off using this code here. And if you're ever looking for software deals, come into my recommended tools list. So, okay, get a plan with Warmy. And now you're only going to use this for your primary domains, the ones you're doing lots of sending from. It's too expensive to use your secondary domains. So, here's 
here's my Warmy dashboard for my PR agency. I've got a different one for Lead Gen J. Now you're gonna come into mailboxes and you're gonna wanna add a plan. So when you're adding this mailbox for the first time, it's gonna prompt you to see a plan. I definitely recommend that you use premium. The reason for that is you're able to warm a thousand emails per day per mailbox on IP, which you're gonna wanna do because you're gonna be sending a lot of emails from your GHL account. This is not like cold email. You wanna warm at a, at a really high capacity. The other reason you should be using this specific plan is you can add your own templates, warm up topics, warm up language, and control the distribution of warm up emails. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So now that you've got a plan, let's go ahead and add this SMT mailbox. We're going to come into add mailbox, scroll down to custom SMTP. Here, you're going to enter the information that you just created. And I'm doing this for the first time for Otter. So we're actually connecting this one right now. It is very exciting. We're going to send from Otter public relations. We're going to use that password that I created for the host. We're going to grab that from here under SMTP details. And let me move my big face out of the way so you can see. Bottom right, SMTP details, this is what we're copying. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to paste that in the host section right here. For port, we're gonna select 587 and then we're gonna disable IMAP. Uh, for those of you that don't know what IMAP is, that's receiving emails. Now, GHL, Mailgun, we're just sending. They're not configured to receive and that's okay because we're just doing warm up here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect and it's gonna connect to that IP address and mailbox. And essentially it's now connected to your GHL and is able to send emails from your GHL. All right, and now my mailbox is connected. Hello at lc.otterpublicrelations.com. This is connected to my GHL and can now send emails from my GHL. Now let me walk you through how to configure this the right way. So we've got the correct plan, hopefully. Now, it should be premium. Now you need to set up your warm-up preferences. So this is controlling the types of mailboxes that are going to receive your warm-up emails. So under warm-up preferences, you really wanna focus on the types of mailboxes that you have the hardest time delivering to, which are usually gonna be Microsoft and Outlook. So I like to make these like most of my sending capacity, like 30% each, and then it will distribute the rest of them automatically. Now, my guess is that most of your users, leads, clients are using Outlook or Gmail. Outlook is the hardest to get into. Some might be using Yahoo, but not really. So I'm, I'm just gonna leave it here, and then the rest is gonna be auto-distributed. So that's the first setting that you should configure. Focus on Microsoft Outlook and 365. The next setting that I want you to focus on is the warm-up topic. So in this case, this is a PR agency. So let's see if PR is an option here, media. So I found reputation management. Let's go with reputation management since that's pretty much the closest. Now all the warm up emails it's gonna send are gonna be about reputation, which is the closest fit that I could find to PR. Now I'm gonna come into settings and I'm actually gonna crank this up to fast mode. So I'm gonna send from name fast mode and I want a maximum emails per day of a thousand. The only time you might not wanna do this in fast mode is if you just launched a GHL account, just got this IP address and aren't used to sending emails from that domain. In every other case, I would go ahead and set that in fast mode. Now it's gonna start sending those warm up emails for you every day, but the last thing that you should do here is turn on weekly auto test. This is gonna do a deliverability test for you on autopilot once every week. And you're gonna to wanna to do that from a specific template if you have one, and you can test with all of these providers. And then go ahead, save and run. And then it's gonna start your first test and then test every single week for you on autopilot. And that is how you fix deliverability issues inside of GHL. Now, if you're interested in starting a GHL white label agency or really mastering the tool, we are launching a GHL white label agency program. It's gonna to be totally free for the first 100 members. So if you wanna join the waitlist for that, it's gonna be linked down below. And if you wanna master GHL, I've got an entire module in YouTube on how to master this platform and get the most out of it. And if you got value here, please like like so you see more content like this and subscribe to the channel unless you hate money. I'll see you soon.